<clears throat> Howdy y'all, Man Alive here. I'm gonna do a video about my pack. So it's actually my individual pack, not one that you can necessarily get. But I, uh, I made it from two different other packs and uh, attached some other stuff to it. And I'll talk about that. So first things first, <clears throat> the base of the model is a Camelback BFM. That was my favorite pack for a long time. <clears throat> I liked uh, mostly everything about it. The side pockets I didn't like. The organizer pocket wasn't the best. Uh, and that might be it. So, I've taken uh, <clears throat> the side pockets and the front organizer pocket <clears throat> off of a 511 Rush 72. What I did is I just cut the seams off the side pockets, uh, threw it away, cut the pockets off of the 511 and sewed them to it. Similar thing with the front pocket. I wanted to keep a lot of it intact. I wanted to keep the aspect of having the stuff pocket there. <clears throat> And then the straps are actually, both straps actually doubled up and then cinched it up all the way. And I haven't actually secured it down, but I haven't actually needed to. So I, I can still take those, the second straps off in the 511, but I don't really need to. It stays on pretty good, fits everything well. As you can see, I've added a compass to the strap here and on this, <clears throat> Uh, spot. I've actually sewn a button, I've sewn a <clears throat> cami trouser button there, and I fashioned the uh, lashing to my compass in a way that I can actually button it to it. So now when I go through the brush, it doesn't pull the lashing and rip my compass out. Now I have to unbutton it, which is no big deal because I made that button in the right spot and I made the loop to button it the right size and that's how easy it is to take it off and put it on right there I fashioned some uh, a retainer clip onto my uh, bladder hose I have my sunglasses case this is a uh, hard woven fiber or something in a zipper and then I fashioned a, uh, a lashing loop out of some paracord uh, right through the pocket there, or a little loop that I was left when I dissected my other pack. Oh, and the waist belt. So on my one side, I often carry my sidearm. So this is my support side. I have a um, headlamp case. It's so much better to have it on your waist when you need it than it is to take off your pack and find it in the dark. And then I have a gather sack from 511 which uh, expands out. It's about a gallon size. Uh, what you don't see in here is I have some uh, extra trash bags. So they are uh, you know, the, the small uh, kitchen trash bag size, I guess. So I have a couple of those in there for trash. And then for my other stuff, I just put those in my pocket and put bark or rocks or whatever directly in the pouch. And then uh, I think my front... Yeah, so on this side, I got my practice tourniquet in there now, but uh, it's uh, I have it so it slides so it can get out of my way if I'm carrying my sidearm. And then the final modification I did was I made the like the Schurner style forward cinch waistbands by sewing some uh, kind of like D rings. On the sides there that fit so those modifications uh, it's kind of everything uh, I ever wanted in a pack and I didn't know that until I had uh, several different ones and I could make it that way so now I have pockets on the sides that fit one full kit on this side another full kit on this side all my organization stuff in my organi organizer pocket, I have a detachable stuff 
sack pocket. Oh, inside my organizer pocket. It had more organization and the uh, dividers in there were kind of in the way for some of my stuff. So I cut out some of the organization so that the pockets that are left are exclusively fit to the things I use or um, there's just more room now. So the, the pockets that I didn't use, I cut them out and the uh, there were some Velcro, like inner Velcro pockets, inside pockets that would like hold a radio or something down and I they were just always in the way. So I cut the whole dang things out. So now I have uh, you know less pockets in here but the organization is exactly what I want. I'm not, I'm not sure if you can see it from there, but this is, I mean, in the dark and the cold, I know where all this stuff is at and there's not extra stuff in here. And when I shut it, it fits, you know, just like I want it. But I left on the main big piece for that pocket there. So maybe you can see it if I take these two off. So here, and I, uh, you know, right now I have a bunch of stuff in it, so, but it usually will, it's pretty big and flat, so it would hold a, a notebook or something, something I might need to get to quick. I also left the, the key, key hook thing on there. I kept the straps from the Camelback on but I also combined the straps from the 511 and I used the buckles from the 511 because they were bigger, harder, sturdier buttons. So now I can actually cinch it, you know, one way from the 511 strap or the other way for the camelback strap. But I usually have the camelback strap set at a certain setting and I, I just use the 511 straps to cinch with. And yeah, so that's that's how I got it going on. And then you know, putting it putting it on with the uh, forward cinch this way, so much better. Easier to pull and gets tighter. Usually, I have my camelback bladder sitting right about, right about by my sternum. My sternum strap, shoulder straps, yeah, everything's nice and solid there. I'm not sure if you can see it in this lighting. But yeah, so I've got the 511 outer pocket and stuff pocket, 511 side pockets, the Camelback um, main compartment, both shoulder straps. I have a sunglasses, uh, you know, semi hard case. I have a Leatherman pouch on one strap. In the other strap I have my compass with lashing that I've made and a button that it's it's not going to fall off because of the button. I have my uh, camelback bladder attached with uh, room for some pacing beads. I have a Princeton Tech headlamp case on one side of the waistband and I have a 511 gather sack on the other side. It's collapsible. And then I have a uh, a uh, tourniquet holster on the other side and sleeping bag straps on the bottom uh, modif modify the organization inside the organizer pocket and this pack is superior in every way to both packs individually oh yeah also one of my favorite features is the forward cinch forward cinch waistband so it's super super easy to tighten and 
powerful and comfortable and awesome. Has all the organization that I want. Fits all of my needs for my individual excursions. Um, one pocket fits one kit. One pocket fits my other kit. My organizer pocket fits everything I need to have organized. The volume is about a, about where I need it. The uh, top pocket here, it's not really top pocket, it's a, it's a upper, it's a upper pocket, is uh, big enough to hold the things that I put into it. And uh, I like it a lot. Yeah, if anybody uh, out there wants to um, get the ideas or any more details of uh, how I've made these modifications um, or what I how I sewed it or whatever the case is or if you want to help me manufacture a another pack I have in mind <clears throat> so if you have a industrial sewing machine maybe in some fabric and they want to work with me on a pack design I have you know the details are a little more materials than that and uh, it's, it's pretty badass design I think uh, let me know get a hold of me we'll see what we can do